So, I cut my hair short quite a while ago as well. Even though you can't really tell because my drawings basically resemble each other, I cut my hair back in like February. And that got me thinking about my phases when it comes to changing up my hairstyle. First off, let me just say short hair to me is like shoulder length and shorter, but I know shoulder length hair would be considered medium to some people, so moving on. Let's go back to the 90s and early 2000s teen movies. When someone cuts their hair because they've gone through a big change in their life, most likely a breakup of some sort, however, weirdly enough, I didn't really enjoy that trope. I was always like, girls aren't like that. Well, fast forward, I grew up, felt emotions, and after some thought as to why I continuously like to change my hair, I'm them. That's me. I tend to change my hair when I need or meet a change in my life. Nowadays, I tend to change my hair because I experience something mentally. I guess changing my look encourages me to feel I have reset my body and now I can start over. But I'm an idealist, okay? I tend to romanticize things without thinking about what reality is really like. The first time I did anything to my hair was actually getting highlights when I went to the Philippines years ago. I'm sure they weren't super noticeable since I was so young, but I still did it. Currently, now that I'm older, I've went through my share of color changes and haircuts. I mean, I don't drastically change my hair. Usually I ombre my hair into my normal color so I don't go fully a certain color. And I only cut my hair a couple inches at a time instead of pulling a whole Mulan and like my cousin did, but I will admit that was pretty epic. Sometimes I'll even go through a phase where I just want to grow my hair long too. I've only exceeded at that once, and my hair got down to my butt. That was when I was young too, so maybe I was just stubborn and didn't want to get my hair cut for a couple years. I don't know. After experiencing shoulder length hair for the first time, I don't want my hair any other length anymore. Only since I'm so low maintenance when it comes to my hair, and with the shorter hair, I don't really have to brush my hair anymore unless I get out of the shower. That's also the reason why I can't keep my colored hair for long periods of time because I'm uber lazy. Although, I will say this about my shoulder length hair, I have to style it a lot more than my longer hair. Talk about contradicting myself. When I had long hair, Wow. So cool. My straight hair looked fine. Almost like it was heavy enough to stay straight. But for some reason, with shorter hair, my natural hair ends up flipping towards the left. Sooner or later, I end up looking like one of those doll heads that you can put makeup on in style. To combat that, I either need to straighten it or wave it. But it's fine, it only takes about 15 minutes or so. Everything has its cons. I think I'm slowly turning into a hipster. I've also been thinking about wanting to cut bangs, but I'm not too sure how I'd look with them since I've always had a side part and swooped bangs. But for real, like, my style consists of always wanting to wear clothes that should be worn in the fall, and wanting huge circular Harry Potter-like glasses. Sooner or later, you'll find me drawing in a coffee shop, sipping my baby espresso, even though I don't like coffee. I guess that's what a hipster looks like to me. Okay! Okay! So I guess this time I cut my hair short because I'm graduating college, and I have no idea how to become independent, and I dwell on things pretty intensely. So the pressure I put on myself, I guess, overwhelmed me? Okay, so, short hair. And I don't think it made me less stressed, but at least I feel better. Um, yeah. So I'm just gonna leave. Maybe I'll actually come back with bangs next, once I graduate. 